this is Gina and I just completed a mini album and I wanted to share it with you. This is a Valentine's Day or um, even wedding day anniversary type of uh, mini album. It's a 6x6 six six, and I used the uh, DCWV B Mine stack for all of the papers. And you see here the first page it says True Love has a little bit of a bling. I didn't do a lot to the cover because this paper is so pretty. I didn't want to ruin that. And then I've got over here a uh, charm with keys and locks on it. I thought it was really pretty. I got that, um, I think at Joann's. And then just some various fibers. And then on the front page here, I've got a uh, Sizzix die cut. This is the um, uh, frame lace heart, and I left the top open so that they can slide a photo underneath here if they want to. Just added a little bit of bling to the paper on the side here in the flowers, and a little bit of a bling down here as well. I'm trying a new camera angle, so <laughs> if I am out of frame, I'm sorry. I'll work on that. And this is the next page. Again, this is a Sizzix die cut. I um, told myself I was going to have to start using these Sizzix die cuts. Uh, this is... Well, I'm not sure which one this is, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking for it, but this is a Sizzix die, and I've popped it up again. This is a rub-on, and then this is another little... Um, charm that I actually got that at Tuesday morning and then I've put some lace this is two layers of lace on here and I really like how when you close the book that lace peeks out oh sorry I'm a little off there apologize that lace right there <laughs> that I did two layers of lace on that page and then the next page I left pretty blank but I didn't think it needed it. It's just a bunch of um, gold embossed, glittered, rather, um, keys. And then some metallic words that I have that say together forever. And then this page, I've got a Tim Holtz key. It says love. And then this is a uh, frame elegant from Sizzix. Again, popped up so they can put some put a photo or a quote or um, maybe even like um, the date of their wedding, something like that, inside there. Again, I put just a little bit of bling on some of the parts of the page. And then we have this page. It says, You and Me with, with um, thickers, gold thickers. And this actually is the same paper, this pop-up here, this frame, is the same paper as what is on the back. I just did a second layer and popped it up so that they could put photos back here if they want to, or they could leave it alone because the bird is really pretty as well. The next page is my interactive page, and it says love. This is one of those metal words. It was um, bright, hot, fuchsia pink, and a little bit distressed that you get in the dollar section at Michael's. And what I did is I painted it with some acrylic paint and then I rubbed some diamond stickles on top of it to make it match better. And this pulls open. And, well, there's three pages here that they can put photos on. And then on the back we've got some uh, journaling spots. And then they just the page just tucks under these butterflies to hold it in place. These butterflies I actually just got yesterday at an antique store. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of different colors. Um, actually, they're right here, some of them. But as you can see here, really pretty. And I just had to have them when I saw them at the antique store. All right, next page. has a Sizzix flower cut out of uh, flower layers and I um, spritzed it with some, oh gee I forgot what it was called. I bought my very first Glimmer Mist a couple of days ago. Um, this is the Red Velvet. Red Velvet Glimmer Mist. Spritzed that on there and then patted it down so it wouldn't be quite as strong a color. And then rubbed some stickles, diamond stickles, all over the flower and added a, a center pink Prima Bling. And then the next page 
has a gold locket that I got at, um, I want to say Joann's, but it might have been Michael's. I'm really not sure. And then a couple of tags, again using those butterflies because I just thought they were too cute. And all, I should say, all of my pages are um, spritzed with pearl. Oh, boy, I'm drawing a blank now. Hang on. Ah, pearl colored perfect pearls in water to give it just a little bit of a shimmer. And this page I left fairly simple up here because I thought this kind of was the focal point. This is another Sizzix dye. This is Heart with Flowers and Vine. And then what I did is I took my Distress Inks, my Tim Holtz Distress Inks, and, a, uh, and some water and brushed the color on all of the little different pieces. Instead of doing the layered paper look, I just wanted to color it on there. It kind of looks like crayons a little bit. And I just thought it added a little whimsy to the page. And then I covered a few of the areas with um, glossy accents to give it some shine and then added some Prima Bling. And then this page I left alone other than putting a little bit of a stamp on there. It says for my love because I just love this Cupid on the paper and I didn't want to cover him up. So um, that's that. And then on the back again it's just a blank piece of the the uh, Be Mine paper. It's keys. It's all glittered. And then my little Sweet Biscuit Girl stamp. And that is it. And this mini is going to be put up on my Etsy store, Sweet Biscuit Girl. And uh, it should be up there later tonight, I think. But uh, anyhow, that's my newest mini. And I think I've been talked into doing my next mini using the Sizzix dress um, die. So we'll see how that one com comes together and I'll let you know. Until next time, bye!